Well, we are going to do something sweet today. Ooh. For my sweet. <laughs> oh. He likes it, yeah. <laughs> Am I blushing? Can you <laughs> tell? <laughs> it's called almond tart. And it is a recipe that I've had for a good number of years. Um, and I like to share it with you. Mm, nice. It's really good. We've, of course, we've had it before. Yeah. <laughs> So, for the first, uh, uh, we are going to use three quarters of a cup of melted butter. Get my little gyro camera up here. Melted butter, ooh. And I use real butter. I, if you want to, you can use uh, margarine, but I prefer real butter. I mean, who doesn't? Okay, so that's three quarters of a cup there. I suppose if you are look to, looking to keep your fat content down, it might be something to consider to use margarine. Has the same fat content. Has the same fat, I'll, I'm gonna be quiet now. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I don't cook. <laughs> and we have one and a half cups of sugar. Sugar. And it's, it, don't fill it, fill it, because it is lumpy. It's lumpy it's, sugar. It's lumpy sugar. <laughs> the the okay. KitchenAid will look after that though. Yeah, well, there you go. So we put that in there. Um, what's, a little, the, uh, what's a little lumpy sugar among friends? Well, right? yeah. <laughs> and this thing is going to make it unlumpy. Okay, so we are going to mix this up, so um, excuse the noise. It's gonna be noisy. Plug your ears. Noise alert. Boop, boop. That's not that noisy. <laughs> Gotta like those KitchenAid uh, mixers. Not to push a, a name brand, but they are well made. And while that is uh, mixing up, we're going to spray the eight by eight pan. <laughs> you scared I'm gonna spray you? Well, no. <laughs> And this is one of Brian's mom's pans as well. This is Mar yeah. one of Margaret's pans, so it's well, as old well as I seasoned. Am. Yeah, well seasoned. So am I. I'm... <laughs> All right. We, we have to. Getting... Yeah, we have to let that. Uh... So does it get like hard or like? No, no. It gets actually softer. Softer. Okay. okay. We're gonna put in two eggs. Two eggs. Now, I like to crack my eggs in a measuring cup so I don't get any shell. And if I do get shell, I can get rid of it. So one at a time, I'm gonna turn this down just a bit. Put that in there, and we can turn it back up. And it gets nice and creamy. Turn this one down and put that one in. Again, this is a, a, fair, a fairly easy recipe. It's all one, one bowl and one pan, so it's, it's good that way. So you can see that's getting nice and creamy now. I'm gonna slow that down and I'm going to put one teaspoon of vanilla. Now, this is special vanilla. It has come from Dominican Republic. Thank you so much, Debbie Green, um, because without her, I wouldn't have had this great vanilla. It is wonderful. If you ever have a chance of getting Dominican Republic vanilla, mm -hmm. go for it. So if Ask you're down some. on vacation, bring us back some. Yeah. <laughs> and we thank Deb for bringing this back. Good friend and a good vanilla getter. <laughs> and it's very thick. It's it's excellent vanilla. So that's one of those. And we have pure almond extract that Kathy Bootler gets for me for through Watkins. Mm. So we're going to use one and a half. I'm going to tip that up. There we go. Give me a little more room. One and a half teaspoons of 
almond extract. And it smells wonderful. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. Use that for an air freshener in my car. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Be chewing on the console because it smells like you could eat it. Uh, oh. It does get really creamy, I'm surprised. I didn't think it would get that creamy. And we're gonna have to have half a teaspoon of salt. Salt, of course. Not much out there that doesn't have salt. No. It's a little uh, flavor enhancer. Yeah. Just... Ooh, I'm glad I did that one over the sink. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we go, the salt. There we are. I knew I was missing something. Now, I'll give that a stir. And you can see that vanilla in there. Mmm. Oh, now I can really, really smell it. Really smell And we add one and a half cups of flour. Flour, okay. Yep. Very common baking ingredient, I guess. I'm gonna turn this down because I'm just gonna do a tablespoon, well, a heaping <laughs> so spoon. The, the flour would fly everywhere if you put yeah. it in at high speed, wouldn't it? Oh, yes. As fun as that would be, we don't recommend it. It'll and it'd be, be all messy. over us. Yeah. You, we don't want to be floured. Yeah. No. No. It would be funny, but. Yeah. <laughs> this is a serious cooking show. <laughs> Give it a little mix in between each addition. Nitrous boost there between <laughs> zip. Oops. <laughs> Gonna get some on you anyway. Get some on me anyway. You're determined. <laughs> Sign of a good baker. Yeah, covered in flour. It's called baking love. Baking love. Baking okay. love. Oops, there's more. <laughs> I'm not going to get away from this unscathed. I just know it is. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay, let's see if we can put the rest of that in there. I made it through Mud Hero in a white shirt back in 2015. So, <laughs> and uh, unscathed, by the way. <laughs> but baking with flour? No. Okay, we'll give it a little, oh, I got it on my thingy here. Okay, give it a little zip, make sure it's all done. We want to scrape down the sides. I was never much of a baker until I had to be. And then it's kind of, I, I enjoy baking. Um, not as much as cooking, but I do enjoy baking. This is more chemistry. And Mrs. Ludlow will know that I was not the greatest in chemistry. And I'm a good baking eater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll just scrape off the beater. As much as we can, because that's all going to make the tart. Now I call this a tart because mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's very dense. It doesn't have a crust, but it's uh, it's a cross between a cake and a tart. But I cake call it tart. I call it a tart. So we kind of thought we'd do something a little different with this episode and uh, do something sweet for you. Yeah. Everything's been uh, savory. Else? Savory, yeah. yeah. Okay, that That's goes the in there. We're savory. Now we'll take this off the kitchen aid. I'll push this over to the side. Do you want me to remove the kitchen aid for you? So you no, I can, I can, I can squeeze in beside you. Okay. Okay. You can do that. And sprayed um, pan. Yeah, the pan's nice and greased up. And I'm glad you have that because there's no way that I would be able to do this facing the camera. <laughs> yeah. So we have the rear facing camera. Yep. 
Scrape out all the goodness. So you get to see from our perspective when I, I bring this camera back here. This is what we see. Oh, okay. Put that in the sink. I'm okay. still working on the smell of vision though, because you yeah. really want to smell that vanilla. That was amazing. But we're not there yet. We're not there yet. <laughs> I don't think technology is there yet. I don't know. They have AI, so why not yeah. smell a vision? I, I think they should. Should be a priority. There we go. <laughs> Scrape it all off. And then, and then we go to taste a vision. Taste a vision, yeah. yeah. So you can actually taste it. Got a little bit on my hand. For that, you have to come go. here. Yep. Then again, taste of vision. And then you have to be on camera if you come here. Well, you do, yeah. Yep. That's the rule. <laughs> Not for long, just a little. Just a little quick, little quick segment. shot of here. Yep. So I just have a, an, what this is called an offset spatula. And I just use that because I can get into the corners and mm. uh, into the pan nice so that I can blend it. I just thought you could mad and bent it one day. No, no, it's called an offset spatula. Okay, it's made that way. I don't get mad. Never. I get even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should know that. <laughs> so now I'm going to, I should have preheated the oven to 350, but I will do that now. Bake 350, there's nothing in there, we're all good. Now, um, on the top of this, we are going to put three quarters of a cup of sliced almonds. Sliced almonds. Yeah. I get my get that knife sound. <laughs> and you can buy them, and they're really easy. So three quarters of a cup of sliced of almonds. Cup of sliced almonds. From the baker's point of view. And I'm just going to put those oh, on the counter as well. <laughs> you can have those later. You're being very liberal with your almonds. Yep. There we go. So that's just like a covering, like a topping? That's just or... a topping, yep. yep. There we go. I'll get these off. And on top of that... Oh, we got more. more we toppings. do. We have yeah. one tablespoon of sugar. A bit of sugar. But I like a little more sugar on mine. I'll save you those over here, okay? And I just kind of sprinkle it on. Oh, I see, nice and even. And nice and even. Make sure you get the corners because, oh, there's another almond for you. You're on the <laughs> leftovers. Uh, uh, you, want, you want that <laughs> almond here? There you go. Uh, there's your yum, almond. Yum. Okay, so I, yeah, I used about half of that. Um, so now we just wait for it to, uh, to go into the oven. Excellent. Look forward to it. And then for it to come back out. That's the best That's part. That's the best part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you let it cook for, let me get my recipe here. You let it cook for 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yep. At 350. So that'll kind of, will those brown those almonds and kind of roast them a little it bit? It does, and, and the whole thing puffs up a Ooh. bit, but the middle tends to settle back down. So okay. it makes it nice and moist and gooey. Well, we'll show you when it's yeah. done. Um, no milk in this product, except for the butter. No, no milk products, so, yeah. Excellent. All right, well, we'll be back when it comes out of the oven. Okay. Okay, the uh, timer just went off for 40 minutes for the almond tart, so we will bring that out of the oven. Ooh, they look something good. The almonds are nice and roasted, and I can see the sugar peeking up. Very nice. And it smells <laughs> totally awesome. Wonderful. It smells totally wonderful. We have to let it cool before you cut it. Yeah. Sorry. You won't have any t for, for, for a couple of hours. <laughs> oh, darn. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> so that's it, the almond tart recipe. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel because that helps us grow. And so we can bring you more great recipes. And the recipe will be available on the program, uh, the episode website, and you can download that. So yeah, thanks you for watching Kelly's Kitchen. Bye for now. Thank you.